In today's video, I want to talk to you about five things that you should be grateful for. But before I do that, I want to share a story with you because today is a special day for me. There is a run up to today, and let me tell you the story. 2016, in about September, I started getting stomach aches. I went to the doctor. After a while, Debs made me go. I went to the doctor and he gave me antibiotics and he checked my prostate, all that sort of stuff. And I came away. I went back to him and the antibiotics had worked. I felt fine. We had a little chat. He said, great, you're feeling good. I'll see you next time. And as I walked out of the door, he went, hang on a minute. Why don't we just check your liver. Let me send you for a scan because your liver's a little bit fatty and I want to just have a quick look at it. So he booked me an appointment for a scan. The scan happened on the 8th of November, eight years ago today. I went for the scan, everything seemed fine and I came home. That evening, my doctor rang me. He said, James? And I said, yes. He said, your scan today. They found a lump and I was a bit shocked. And he said, I said to him, what do you mean? He said, well, during your scan of your liver, they spotted a lemon sized lump on your kidney. And he said, I've already made you an appointment. You're in the hospital in a couple of days for a CT scan. Well, that day, was the start of a nightmare for me. Those next, it, it turned out it was eight days between when I had the first scan and when I got the results from the second one. And those were the days when I realised that all the things that I'd thought were important up to now weren't. The things that I realised were important in those few days were, would I see another birthday? How many times am I likely to see my sons? How long did I have left? Would this be my last Christmas? All those sorts of things were whizzing through my head. Anyway, we went to have the scan and I got to see the specialist afterwards. And they told me that the lump could be taken away. And I said, was it cancer? And they said, until we get in, we don't really know, but we think it is. So I said, what's, what's the outlook then? He said, well, we can take the lump away and that should deal with it. He said, because it's on the right side of your kidney that it won't infect any other parts of you. So I said, okay, but if you take it away, is there any chance that it would ever grow back? And they said, yes, there is a good chance that it possibly could. So I said, in that case, can we take the kidney out? And just like that, they agreed. And that was what we did. And so from the 8th of November today, 44 days along to the 22nd of December, that's how long it took them to get through everything, get it all sorted, get it taken out and me back onto the road of recovery. And as I got up this morning... I sat on the edge of my bed and I'm aching in places in my back and my legs. And then I realised to myself how grateful I am that a doctor, just on the off chance, stopped me from going out of the surgery and went, I know, we'll just have a look, just have a scan. That, that one quick moment probably saved my life. And so I'm really, really grateful today for the, the opportunity to still be here. I don't know how long I would have lasted had he not sent me. And that is one of those things that I'll never forget. And one of those things I'll always be grateful for. What are those five things that we should be grateful for? Well, number one and most obvious is you're alive. As my story just told you, there was a good possibility that I may not have been 
who's to say I could be gone by now, but I'm alive. And although I ache like everybody does, although I have moans and groans like most people do, I'm still alive. I'm still here. I've still got today. And for that, I'm really, really grateful. And so should you be. Because in this life, we never know when our last day is coming. And so each day as you wake up, you should, by rights, be grateful that you are still alive. Number two, your health. Now, as I've just told you, my health wasn't good. I might not have had a future. And because of that operation, I've been given an extension for how long it is. That doesn't mean to say that my health is great. I suffer from higher blood pressure. I've had a couple of operations since then for things that were caused during that time. So my health isn't 100%, but I'll tell you this. My health keeps me going. I've been very lucky. I took on board the things that they told me. And I try and look after myself. I don't walk enough. I should do more. That's something I need to look at. I still have high blood pressure. I probably always will. But apart from that, my health's not too bad. I can still get out and do all the things that I want to do. And I'm grateful for that, as you should be. If your health causes you to be in a situation where you can't do as much as you used to, then be grateful that you still can do what you can and that you're still here. Number three, opportunity. Now, when I had my shake up with my health, I was presenting radio shows and I was doing fairly well, very happy. And afterwards I came, I had a couple of months recuperation and went back to work and realized that all of the enthusiasm I'd had had somehow drifted away. Being a radio presenter wasn't the most important thing in my life anymore. But there were other things that come along, other opportunities. The opportunity to realise that I had a life to be grateful for. And so do you. There will be opportunities along the way for you to try new things and... For me, had I not managed to come through the situation that I did, I wouldn't have the opportunity to be talking to you today because YouTube wasn't even in my realm back then. I wasn't a YouTube person, didn't use it. That's down to the lockdown, really, that I've discovered YouTube properly. But the opportunities are still there. It may be that as I spoke about in other videos, you have things you want in life to do. Well, you still have the opportunity to do that. You may have to move things about. You might have to change things in your life, but the opportunities are still there and you still have the chance to go after them. Four, the people in your life. Now, the funny thing is, going back to my story once again, I didn't appreciate the people in my life. People that I thought were friends, some of them weren't. People that I didn't really think enough of turned out to be the greatest help. People who put themselves out for me and my family at a time when we really needed it. The people in your life, there are some there and I talk about them often on my videos. I talk about your tribe. Those people that love you for being you. The people you don't have to put any airs and graces on for when you're with them. You don't, people you don't have to act as somebody else in front of. The people who know all your faults and still like you anyway. That some still love you for your faults. Some of those things that you class as faults may be quite endearing to somebody else. 
So the people in your life, you should be grateful for those. I'm not an extrovert. I don't have hundreds of friends, but I'm grateful for the people that I do have. And so should you be. The fifth and final one, the hard times. I never thought I'd talk about the hard times as being things to be grateful for. But it's during the hard times of my life that I've discovered not only that there are people that care about me, but I've discovered that I have a fortitude that I didn't realise I had. During the hard times, I've learned things that have boded well for the rest of my life that would have never been learned had I not had the hard times. The hard times have made me appreciate so much. The things that I thought were important before I realized weren't. The hard times made me realize what really was important to me. And those hard times will do the same for you. And so there we go, five things that I think we should all be grateful for. Please let me know down below if you've got any comments, if there's any other things that you think I've missed out and should be there. Well, here's your chance to tell me. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Share it with anyone you feel may benefit from hearing it and seeing it. And um, if you've been checking out this channel for a while, and you like the things that I'm talking about. And you don't find me too boring even. Well, love it if you subscribe and become part of our little community. And so that's about it for this video. If you click up there, I'll have another video just for your delectation. I will see you next time.